Hi folks, Kenny the Vapid Heed, back again. What do you think people? Top airflow or bottom airflow? What's your choice? To find out after the intro. Yeah. Right folks, welcome back, yes, can you be the back again here, not with a review, just a bit of a, an update and debate, um, hope you're all doing really well, um, obviously in the current circumstances with the isolation and the Covid virus malarkey that's going on, hope you're all safe, hope you're all very well and thank you for dropping by and joining me, um, bit of a just a bit of a chit chat really and um, like I said before I'm going to have a quick talk about top airflow bottom airflow you know which which do you prefer but first welcome to my potentially half finished studio stroke recording area um, I've moved out here basically because um, I don't know if I've mentioned past videos the council had been doing a bit of refurb on my properties uh, this area I'm sitting in now it's, it's like a, a balcony utility uh, room area um, and it's still a bit echoey because I haven't got any you know soundproof and stuff up yet um, and then it was just it was just like a you know we've got a big window here now but it was just like open it had like these honeycomb blocks in it was open to the elements and all that stuff so this is where you know we used to come out and vape and you know smokers used to come and have a fag you know so They've recently put all double glazed windows in and everything now, but also when they've done that, they've put new bloody smoke detectors in and basically they're just too sensitive, they just go off, you know, for flies fart. So I'm out here most of the time vaping, you know, it's uh, it's pretty peaceful, pretty quiet now, big window, see what's going on. So, you know, start sort, why not? We'll put a bit of paint on it, spruce it up a bit and just do recordings out here. I guess see, excuse the sounds, it's still a bit echoey um, as I haven't got a carpet down yet because obviously it's just, it was just a bare concrete floor which it still is um, but you know put a lick of paint on, got my shelves up, put my gear on at the back you know and then here we are. So that aside, oh before we go on I'll tell you what I'm vaping on, I have got the Intake Dual sitting on top of my G-Class I'm currently vaping on the old Cherry Cake Dodgers by Butter Vapes, but I'm also trying, and which I must say is bloody nice, there's yellow mess as well. It's like a, well, it's like eating mess, but with lemon. Bloody lovely. But anyway, that's what I'm on on the J class at the moment, so I'll have a quick toot. God, that's good. I love this stuff. But anyway, Top airflow tanks or bottom airflow tanks? What's your preference? Personally, I'm heading towards top airflow. Um, basically because they are getting better. Um, like I say with this recent one, you know, the, the intake jewel is a top airflow tank. Now my main reason for going to these or being more inclined to these, especially if I'm going to go out and about, is I'll just keep it simple, they don't leak. <laughs> simple as that. But you know, you can do out your light with them, shake them about, anything, not an absolute drop of liquid comes out of them. Not a drop. But my flow, on the other hand, with my experience, 99% of them tend to leak. Not um, because of bad wicking or anything like that, just to, if you just leave them standing, um, you'll pick it up and it'll have crap in the airflow, you know, it'll have juice in the airflow. Um, plus the fact when you do vape on them, you get condensation coming out of the airflow as well. That's always been my gripe with the bottom airflows. Don't get us wrong, I'm not knocking them back, I love them. As you can see behind us, I've got plenty bottom airflows but 
I'm kind of inclined to go to top airflows. Um, basically because the technology is getting better. It's as simple as that. I mean, the one that I first started with, I just found them, which these were the guys who first, in my opinion, first cracked it. This is the OBS Engine 2. This is the company for me that first cracked top airflow design tanks, you know, just, they nailed it, you know, <coughs> excuse me, they nailed it and obviously, you know, that's a pretty old tank now and it's actually quite a good tank still, a bloody brilliant flavour. And then, you know, I've got a couple others here where with the move, the moved on, hang on, I've got, uh, what's that one, what that one, okay. yeah, I've got this one as well, this one's the Zeus. Again, top airflow, very recent, and obviously the Intake Duo. Um, I've also got, you know, lots of bottom airflows, stocks, sub ohms, you know, I've even got the the Calbi single coil, you see. You know, they, they, they get wet when they stand, I don't know why that is. I mean, uh, what's this one? This one here, I don't know if you can see it stand, but it's like, see that? I don't know if you can see the the guns reducing that shit in the bottom of that airflow, but you know, when they're being standing, they just get the weep. And that's a, that's a sub -ohm. that's a stock coil. I mean, you can feel it, you can look there in my hands, you can see it's just, that is my, my gripe with bottom airflow uh, tanks. Don't get us wrong, the vape, fantastic, you know, the design, I suppose it's sticking with the, the age old design, you know, the airflow, coming up from under the coil or bottom sides of the coil it, it gives you better you know better flavor etc and obviously with some of these modern coils we've got this like honeycomb airflow directly under the coils that is an opportunity for juice to drip weep whatever down them holes that's the only gripe with the bottom airflow tanks i mean christ they're great you know the flavor of them everything's fantastic but the these guys here for well, me well, probably the way to go forward. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of drifting towards these. I mean, the flavour of them, you know, it's matching your bottom airflows because obviously <coughs> when they bring the airflow down, they can bring it to the side or, you know, up bottom at an angle. So, you know, the, the juice will just drip on the deck. It'll not drip it. There's no exit or bottom airflows for it to, to weep out of. And this is why I'm tending to go towards these. Um, especially if I'm the box, you know, if you put it in a, a pocket or inside pocket, you know, there's just no way that's going to leak in your pocket. Um, even condensation, you know, there's, there's just very, there's very, well, there isn't, there's nothing. You know what I mean? It's absolutely jack shit. So this is why I'm more inclined to go with these now. As you can see, they produce just as much cloud if you like the cloud. The flavour is phenomenal. So that's where I'm tending to go with them. So you know, <clears throat> I'm just putting this out just to get your verdict, your views, all that kind of stuff, just see if you agree with us. Um you know, I know you've still got your drippers and your squonkers and that, you know. They're still good, you know. That generally all tanks are good, but I'm just saying with these bottom air flows, my gripe has always been, you know, if you're wicked wrong, it pisses out, or if it, you know, like you say, you stand, you leave them standing, they kind of weep. But, I know some of the older tanks that had the juice flow control were a bit better. If I've got one, hang on, uh, <coughs> there you go. Now this one is a blast from the past, this people. This is the Kensai. Excuse me, a bit of frog through. That's the Ken side. As you can see, it's got the bottom airflow, but it's also got, if you can just see that there, twisting, juice flow control. So with these tanks, you could kind of like, when you're finished with it, you could shut the juice off and stand it, and then, you know, you, you would get less leakage or weeping, you know? Um, most recent one, that's had that the uh, system back on it was the Fatality M25, which I've got in the other room at the moment. But the Fatality M25 has now got the juice flow control on, and um, it's got a bottom airflow control, and it's got like a well, a side side angle bottom airflow controlling. But it's got that juice flow control, so 
when you finish with it, or you're gonna you know, plonk it down for day two, day of two, two, day of two, <laughs> you can close that juice, juice flow, uh, excuse me, and you know reduce any kind of leakage. But you know that's 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 the way it is. You know that's that's what I thought I would just put up there. You know so. You know, it's all sort of let you know I'm still alive, you know, I'm still doing pretty well, but yeah, leave a decision, you know, leave a comment, let us know what you think, what do you prefer, or how do you, how do you counteract the, the leaking tanks, how do you stop it, or does it, does it happen to you, does it not happen to you, please let us know in the comments, you know, so that's what it's there for, I'm throwing it out to you people, so you people can, you know, leave your comments and, you know, your experiences with bottom airflow tanks, so, I guess yeah, just a quick one the day, just to let you know I'm still alive, doing well, um, and obviously if you're new to this channel, please you know consider subscribing, like, sharing, leaving your comments, all that good stuff. Um, much appreciated as always. Um, so with that being said, you know I've been Kenny the Vape and Heed. Stay safe, vape safe. I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Cheers now. Bye.